Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Blood. And today we're going to be blasting Finland's Swallowed Lunaterial on MSUO and Dark Descent Records. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to show you guys something pretty cool real quick. Hey Zeus was nice enough to actually send a misprint over for um, side C and D as well as the regular side C and D. But check out this misprint. It's so fucking weird considering how like opposite Swallowed's music is compared to this cosmetic mistake. And these mistakes happen in plants all the time, which is why some LPs, you know, get a... Uh, delayed and whatnot but uh now here's what the real etching is on this bad boy and rightfully fucking so this is so sick i would not have settled for that gas station picture that looks like it's from some midwest emo band compared to this fucking beast holy shit i wish i had my flashlight so i could show you how awesome this etching really is. It's just done so well. This whole entire Lunatarial double LP is just cosmetic gold. Like, the cosmetics here, if I was in a band right now and, like, I had the money, this is the way I would go. Double LP, depending on the tunes and whatnot. Like, if I was making a Death Doom record of this caliber, yeah, it would be double LP, gatefold, if I had my choice. But Swallowed Lunatarial is one of those records E-fucking-central. Seriously, CDs available on Dark Descent Records, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure it's also, right now, being reprinted. Not 100% sure, but... We have the Coffin Rot Rehearsal Demo, March 3rd, 2019. And first off, hails to Hayden for keeping things fucking old school. Good old Maxwell tapes. You have no idea how many of these I made back in the day. Like, I would make my mom mix tapes for like her field hockey team. To have like Iron Maiden and like Slayer on it and stuff. And this rehearsal demo is fucking sick. First off, Steve Hoffman killed it with the recording and mix job here. And limited to 15 copies. Holy shit. Thank you guys for sending this over. As these four songs are pretty much, in my opinion, one of the main reasons why Coffin Rot are one of those bands that, if you've yet to get into, yeah, I, I think this right here, if this doesn't grab your attention, then maybe this isn't for you, for some unknown reason. Because Coffin Rot's badass to begin with, and... These fucking Oregon death dealers know what they fucking want to sound like. They know what they want. And especially on tracks like Mechanical Separation. Like, I, would, I, I made a little promise that I wouldn't play anything off of this. So, I'm not. And I apologize because I know this is limited to 15 copies. But this is Coffin Rot's new material. And they want to surprise you guys. And they do have some of the tracks live and whatnot on their band camp. I'll put the link below. And that's probably going to be the song that I play in the intro. Because there is a live version of Miasma of Barbidity. And uh, yeah, that track is absolutely fucking sickening. Every song on here is great. But in my opinion, Mechanical Separation is like, wow. Necroticized is sick too, and like, there's a bunch of sick tracks on here. And every single one, all four of these are fucking bangers. All killer, no filler. And, uh, dubbed by Dominic Dami Salami. Sick guy. But yeah, these 
Portland, Oregon death dealers know what the fuck they want to sound like, and in my opinion, they're going to put out one of the best full-length albums from their area whenever they get in the studio and lay down those tracks. If it's anything like these four bad boys, oh yeah. Coffin Rot already have a sick name in the underground with demos like they're self-titled, which is amazing, but like, this absolutely, in my opinion, blows the original demo away. And I love the original demo, and I love their split with Mulder. I have this on vinyl as well, but like, I just figured I would make my life easier and just grab the cassette. But like, just listening to their cancer cover of um, Hung, Drawn, and Quartered, that's pretty much what this reminded me of, except for 100% original. It just was straight up death metal for fans of death metal, written by fans of fucking death metal from one of the best death metal scenes in America. So if you're a drinker, every time I said death metal in this video, take a shot. Or don't. I mean, I, I, I don't, don't advocate drinking at all. It will ruin your life. Weed saves lives, while coffin rot will do just that. Put you in a coffin and let you rot six feet fucking under. And I'm not talking about Chris Barnes's post-Cannibal Corpse atrocity. I know Haunted is a good record, so I... You know. But... Coffin Rot's new rehearsal demo is absolutely amazing. These four tracks, I really wish I could share them with you maniacs, but I made a promise and I need to stick by my promise. But take my word on it, if you were a fan of their split with Mulder, their demos, if you snagged their live, and I think it's like a live slash rehearsal demo, as well, you know how good Coffin Rot are as a band, but they just keep stepping things up and stepping things up with each release, building up to whatever they're going to release as a full-length record, which I'm sure Hayden and company are just going to knock out of the fucking ballpark as this demo legit. I, I wish I could share it with you guys, and I'm not trying to be a, like, dick tease about it. This is awesome. Seriously, awesome. Keep your eyes and ears open on Coffin Rot's Bandcamp. Because I know you could check out some of their new tracks live. So, I'll put that link below, and that's what I'll play in the beginning and whatnot. Because I did make a promise that I would not play this but all four tracks on here are great but mechanical separation when you maniacs hear it you're gonna be like wow that was awesome and Hayden's vocals yo dude fuck yes like just he has those type of death metal vocals that just I'm like Oh, so good. It's everything I feel like death metal vocals should be. And I just love Coffin Rot. Like, from their split with Mulder to, like, their demos. And this rehearsal right now has been having a hard time getting off my cassette deck. And I've had a bunch of gnarly demos coming in and out of that bad boy over the past two weeks. But these four tracks have been played a fuckload of times. And every time I hear new things and it just gets better and better and better. And I make my own full length albums. I'll play this. Then I'll play their split with Motor, And then I'll go up back and play the original. Well, this isn't even the original demo. But I'll play this demo as well as it's fucking badass. 
Like, I love Incubation of Madness, Salt Blade, Suicide. Those tracks are awesome. As well as, um... Living Cremation and Unmarked Shallow Grave. Just sick, sick shit. Like, get into it. In case you're new to Coffin Rot, yo, go to Rotted Life Records. I'll put links below. These two releases are absolutely amazing, essential underground listening. Motor as well. If you've yet to hear about Motor, get on the Chicago lunatics holy shit an act of revenge is one of my favorite demos from last year so fucking good and i'm sure you could still get like a cd version uh through unspeakable acts records but yeah the new coffin rot rehearsal demo 33 2019 is absolutely amazing definitely their best material to date one day, I will see Coffin Rot live, and it will be absolutely devastatingly heavy. And yeah, if you're getting into Coffin Rot right now, in my opinion, is the perfect time. As they're getting to that point where it's like, alright, we got a nice little handful of like demo material, split material... Let's go in the studio and get a fucking full length done. And hopefully they get one under their belts on Rotten Rotted Life Records. And we'll see what happens from there. But Coffin Rot is a band name that keep in the back of your head. Or actually do yourself a fucking favor right now. Check out the video description and listen to Coffin Rot. This is the rehearsal demo, 3-3-2019. Amazing, amazing death metal from the Pacific Northwest. And hailing from Finland, we were blasting Swallowed Lunaterial. Wow. On MSUO and Dark Descent Records. Absolutely a goddamn essential death doom gem. And as always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Hails to Coffin Rot for sending this my way. One of 15 copies. You guys are fucking awesome. Hey.